Thank you. I'm John Stevenson. I'm on the board at uh, the USS LST-393 Museum, which is that big camouflage ship down at the Mark Dock. We have uh, thousands of artifacts from a wide variety of uh, military actions. Of course, it's a World War II ship, so the focus is kind of World War II. And uh, one of the things we have a lot of, more than 50, are these large-scale um, uh, aircraft models. And I'm, I'm going to hold up two that I brought today. This is a Douglas Dauntless SBD. And SBD means Scout Bomber Douglas, of all things. <laughs> they gave it its name brand. It is a dive bomber. If you can see the red uh, on the back, those are dive brakes, so that when the airplane is diving down and dropping the bomb below the propeller, as you can see, it, it can slow down and be in control enough so that it can come back up. That's what the dive brakes are all about. The, uh, the Dauntless was one of the many obsolete American airplanes that fought at Midway. Not the worst, it was actually pretty effective. The Japanese Zero, A62M is this model, was a long range fighter and it was the class of the Pacific. There was no fighter in anybody's arsenal that could touch this airplane. And they tore up the American squadrons uh, with some ease early in the war. Now the carriers, the Japanese carriers uh, that arrived for the midway fight had zeros and the uh, Americans had um, Wildcats, which was an obsolete fighter plane, replaced by the Hellcat, which was an outstanding fighter plane, maybe the greatest of World War II. And they had dive bombers, which were the Douglas Douglas, and torpedo planes, which were the uh, called the Devastator. And that was, those planes should have been retired in 1938. Uh, the Battle of Midway was won by a combination of self-sacrifice an incredible luck, because uh, you may have heard the, uh, the story of Torpedo 8. That was a squadron off of one of the American carriers uh, of Devastators, these obsolete 100 mile an hour airplanes that went in against the Japanese carriers uh, at low level, because that's how you deliver your torpedoes. You've got to be right at wave top. And the Japanese Zeros came down out of the sky and shot every single one of them down. They got no hits. One man survived that entire squadron. But the Japanese airplanes were down. And the Dauntless were up. And at that moment, they were changing bombs and torpedoes on the Japanese carriers <coughs> and the Dauntless squadrons came straight down and delivered their 1,000-pound bombs right onto the Japanese carriers in a space of a few minutes. The Japanese went from the masters of the Pacific to on the defensive for the rest of the war. Uh, thank you, and really well done. Um, oh, don't walk away. I've got a couple quick questions for you. But this just further illuminates how this is working with our community, having various partners. John with the LS393, we really appreciate that. Uh, in two weeks, remember we're off next week, what are you guys doing? Spring break. Spring break, yeah. <laughs> in two weeks we'll be back and we're going to be talking about the Italian campaign as well as Northern Africa. And could you introduce uh, just briefly Dan Weiko? Tell us about Dan and he'll be presenting for us in two weeks. Uh, the speaker in two weeks is uh, the USS LST curator, and I should probably also say creator, because he was the driving force behind taking a uh, rusting old Highway 16 Hulk that was sitting at the Mark Dock for years and years 
and turning it back into the uh, the American historic treasure that it is. Uh, they built 1,051 LST or LSTs during World War II. There are two left, and we are privileged to have one of them in Muskegon. It is a veterans museum that can be toured. Not now. It's freezing cold on this ship, and I can tell you that because I was there. Again. Uh, but we're open May to October. Again, we have thousands of artifacts. Uh, Dan was the founding father of this and continues to be the curator. He has, uh, he's a, he's a engineer graduate from Purdue. <laughs> and uh, doesn't care for high school at all. Uh, and uh, has a master's of uh, history uh, focusing on World War II. He is a nationally renowned um, uh, 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 purchaser of artifacts, uh, collector of World War II artifacts, and is extraordinarily knowledgeable. He takes people on tours of Washington, D.C. He's taken tours of Normandy. He's, uh, he, he knows his stuff. You will, be, uh, you will learn a lot from Dan in a couple of weeks. Thank you very much. And again, just uh, another display of this Muskegon Community Partnership.